Hi there and welcome. So today I'm shooting a perfume commercial and I'm just going to use my smartphone to do this. This is what I came up with. So you've already seen it. I'm going to start shooting some of the shots that I have in mind. Probably not in the order that um, you just saw, but I'll decide on that later in the edit room. So the first thing I have is two pieces of uh, black sheet, one a bit more um, shiny where the product will go on and a matte or opaque uh, sheet that will go in the background. So I'm just going to set that up and I'll start shooting with my phone. I'll also turn uh, my light on at the top. I have a Godox what is it, 60 or SL60W with a honeycomb, which is shining on top of this. And yeah, let's see what I can get out of with my phone. So I have, I have my next setup ready. I have some petals some tulip petals on, on top of the, the surface and I have my, my phone now on uh, manual focus. I'm shooting also at 4K60 and yeah, what I'm gonna try and do is simulate a slider. So I'm gonna focus um, on the bottle now when I'm at the closest to it and then I'm going to move the slider backwards and then I'll reverse it in post so that I can get this uh, illusion that I move into focus. So I'm going to start doing that now. So I'm in focus, I'm recording and then I'm going to pull back. Perfect. And then in post I'll reverse it. So before I dismantle this setup, I just thought I might even do some uh, sliding motion from left to right and right to left, maybe arcing a little bit. I want to see how that looks. Still in manual focus. And then I'm going to just move it. Gives quite a cool illusion. Because you can, it reveals the, the tulip petals in the background. few more times, not that smooth, maybe I might put a cloth underneath it, maybe that does the trick, not sure, hopefully, ah yeah, much smoother, so I just thought of another thing, uh, before I, I dismantle this um, the setup and I just wanted to place a bottle on a Lazy Susan to get the bottle rotating and then I might have some, yeah, some possibilities in a post to get the bottle moving around in the air or so, or, or I'm not sure. I'll see what I do. Okay, for the next shot, I'm going to get the bottle and place it in my sink. Uh, my sink is black, so it still has the, this uh, black or dark mood to it. And I'm gonna just fill the sink up with water. And I'm gonna try and play around with the bottle in the water, coming out, placing it in, um, maybe with the, with the petals all over it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try out some things and so let's see what I can get out of this. So after a while of messing around with the tripod uh, to get the best view and not get the, the plug and not get many um, reflections on the water, uh, I finally got the, the, the phone on an, it's in a good position and what I'm going to do is just now try and um, yeah, experiment with the bottle, placing it inside, outside with some petals and so on. Let's see how it looks. Oh 
Okay, I'm, I'm liking the feel of this, um, but I need to create something that, so that I, I don't have my hand in the, in the frame. I'm gonna have to yeah, place it on something. I'll see what I come up with. Okay, so what, I'm, what I just came up with is a chopstick and some duct tape. I'm gonna tape the chopstick on the back of the, um, of the perfume bottle and place it behind the, the cap also so that when I pull the bottle out of the water I won't be able to see it that much. I'm still gonna have to um, yeah, take the, the chopstick out in post but shouldn't be much of a problem. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna try it with some tulip petals. Let's see how that looks. Placing them on the water, they float, awesome. I think I need more petals. Looking much better now, thankfully. Another idea I came up with earlier was to use a water, we call this pulverizer? I'm not sure. I'm gonna spray, uh, sprayer. I'm gonna spray some water over the bottle uh, whilst it's in there and see if I can simulate a bit of rain. Right. Yeah, that ain't working. To get more of a dynamic shot, I just came up with an idea. Um, my phone is waterproof to an extent and I'm gonna try and submerge it or place it near to the water and see if I can get some cool shots. I'm gonna do this handheld. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, I'm glad I did this. Awesome. Okay, so I'm outside, um, I'm in my garden. This is the only table or the only glass surface that I have, um, especially in black and where I can play around with some water. I'm gonna play some water around the, the perfume. Right, I'm gonna start placing some water in front of this and then maybe a bit in the back. Okay, I start recording them now. I'm gonna throw some petals on. I'm recording at 60 frames per second, so I'll get some type of uh, slow motion. So I'm just gonna try. That wasn't too bad. I'll see what else I can do. So my microphone died at this point, so I had to make a voiceover. I basically tried some water effects, basically trying to simulate some rain, but it wasn't working that well with my hand. So I got this, this uh, baking tray, which had some holes in it, and uh, basically this simulated a really good rain. Well, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.